Well, it looks like I found another way for notaries to make money and through the federal government. Here's another example. Then right behind me, this is going to be something that you're going to like. Uh, this is a, from the U.S. Postal Service where the notary is going to be needed for this form. The title of this document is called Form 1583-1583. It is an application for delivery of mail through an agent. Okay, so this came up to me um, sometime like in the last month. And I'm like saying, what is this? And the other person said the same thing, that my client. So we're like, what is this? But it was one of the first documents I've ever seen and uh, in which the Postal Service is now asking for a notarization to happen um, after you fill out all of the information. So this is basically someone who has moved or is moving their um, letters or their, their things um, from one location to another using an agent that is not authorized um, official postal service uh, use in which they're going to do it. So, so an agent could be like mailboxes and more, UPS store, and so forth, anyone who has mailboxes. And so it has to be filled out so the Postal Service knows that there is an agent who is going to handle the mail, okay? And at this point, it is the responsibility of the, the person who has the mail to move uh, their things from one place to another. For a business, especially a business, um, there's a lot more things going on. It's not easy. Um, and so we have to kind of uh, follow or comply to the rules of the Postal Service. Um, as you could see below, on the second page then, we're looking at an acknowledgement that's going to be to my left side, uh, and that's going to be right below you, that I'm pointing to. You're going to need to fill in, okay, for that area, the county of on the... Well, today is the 15th, so 1-5, TH, day of December 23 is going to be after that 20. Okay, and then you fill out everything else. Then it, all you're going to need to do is sign your name, put your commission expiration, and also put, your, put that uh, 20... Minus 24. So you, there's room in there to put another two-digit end of the year for your expiration. And then stamp in that square. For those of you who have round stamps, it's a great thing. It'll work out just well. Stamp in there and get it done. And then you're all finished. And then that form 1583 is finished. Are there any notaries out there who have done Form 1583 with the U.S. Postal Service, can you kindly comment in my TikTok comments uh, for me so we can uh, open up discussion here? And if there's any other documents that you want me to uh, look over regarding the federal paperwork, let me know because we've already gone through passport for minors, and we've covered this one, 1583. But if you know another one, let me know so I can go ahead and mention it to the, everyone, to the notary community on what they need to do. All right, and that, that one is, that's it for today. Thank you for your time, and uh, I hope to uh, see uh, and hear from you very, very soon.